Hey there, YouTubers. Right, so it now looks like Ryzen's 5 5600X is going to be the new mid-range CPU of choice. Previously, i5-10600K. Before that, i5-9600K, I would definitely say was better than the Ryzen 5 3600X. Though there may have been some circumstances where that wasn't true, but overall gaming... It was, and then the 10600K was definitely much better uh, than that. So, let's uh, let's look at the benchmark here a little bit and see why that is true. So we've got the same number of cores, 12 threads on each of these. Your base clock speed of the 10600K is higher than the 5600X. Price-wise, you know, remains to be seen. I wouldn't be surprised if the i5 10600K ends up about 200 some dollars. Now, who knows where the 5600X will end up at, if it will drop down as well. But the i5 9600K, you know, is obviously in that $200 range. So this is uh, a little high at the moment. And definitely when the i5 11 600k comes out this will definitely drop down i would believe so ranking wise they've got them ranked the same exact number here and you can see you know worst best bench worst bench up here which this uh 5600k 5600x excuse me has uh the ability to you know get up there a little bit higher. I mean, this is an amazing number. I'm not sure that I've hit that high with overclocking any Intel CPU. So now, single core score wise, 155 to 142. That's uh, outstanding. Um, you know, you can only imagine how awesome. Fortnite might be with some of these CPUs. Now, when we get to quad core score, the Ryzen 5 5600X maintains its lead. And looking at the multi core score, they are, uh, you know, almost neck and neck, kind of like our presidential eraser. Even with the overclock, and I don't know how much of an overclock they put on here. You know, potentially some things they might have done that could have driven this uh, higher than this guy. <clears throat> don't really know because I don't have one. But I usually can beat any of the numbers that are on here. So I would say you could probably get this to match that. All right. Well, there you go, folks. There's the i5 10600K. Uh, in comparison to the Ryzen 5. Now, I'll do this again, very similar, where I compare this CPU to um, other CPUs that are out there. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.